Job fairs, job openings, now hiring signs, all indications we're moving closer to 100% capacity in a little over a month and 80% by next weekend. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. While there are hundreds of jobs available, there may not be hundreds of people to hire, and that's the problem a lot of business owners are now facing. Joe Muller stopped by a few places looking for new employees. He's live near South Buffalo in the 215 tonight. And Brian and Denise, this is frustrating for many business owners. They are welcoming this uh, the more business, but they want to make sure that they can keep up with the demand and get some employees in the doors. This is Fruits and Roots. Uh, it's a juice bar. They need workers not only here, but uh, they soon to open new location. I'm pretty sure a lot of people can attest to how difficult it was once COVID hit. As businesses like Fruits and Roots start picking up, the race is on to bring on more employees. We're, uh, you know, open to new hires that are wanting to come through and apply and work with us. Operations yeah. manager Nate Guerrero is preparing to open a second location as more places look to hire and larger companies host job fairs. Adding employees is easier said than done. And it's been a difficult time uh, hiring. I would say at least 75, if not more, percent of people that we've kind of reached out to, uh, Indeed, Instagram, Facebook, all the platforms um, have not showed. Uh, yeah, so it's been crazy. Fruits and Roots is not the only business having a difficult time finding people. I mean, there are a lot of jobs out there. It's, you know, especially us, we're, we're looking for servers, we're looking for managers, we're looking for bussers. Ignacio Sessa owns the Omelet House in Summerlin and Sky Canyon. We're taking applications, you know, um, we're doing a lot of ads on the Review Journal and stuff like that, but it's, we haven't been getting no bites. It's been tough. I mean, but a year ago, a year and a half ago, I would put something on uh, Craigslist for servers. I mean, I'd have to swamp. He believes some are opting to stay on unemployment as the pandemic continues. He knows many other business owners are in the same boat. And I got like four or five guys that are in the same industry that I'm at, and they're they're struggling too. What I'm doing, but you know what? Well, we're just we just got to hold on. Now back out here live, Dieter in the past has announced that they are going to return the work search requirement for unemployment claimants. That is going to start on May 1st. Reporting live at Buffalo in the 215, Joe Muller, 8 News Now.